note and our programs will be featuring every day of the week and hopefully by hopefully every month we hope to conduct a program like we conducted on the 28th of december mafil a masti regular programs every week every day of the week and then once a month we'll have a mafil where all of us can come together and have some fun and uh, today's session my name is mohan krishnan and i'm a professional storyteller i'm a retired banker so that's retirement so past story my current profession is i'm a storyteller i'm a professional storyteller i also love singing old songs and also do geeta pravachan and things like that through this forum storytelling forum we are trying to bring the art of storytelling to each one of you for instance communication has six steps you know first idea the idea is translated into words or pictures or whatever then you have a channel through the channel it moves to the receiver the receiver receives understands you know decodes your idea into his understanding and responds to you these are the six steps in effective communication and we from seniors today and i in person have taken up the channel part we are going to help you improve your communication discover more power in your communication through the art of storytelling and storytelling involves your whole body mind senses system you can use your eyes you can use your hands you can use your expressions and then you can sing if you like would you believe it you can you, you even use silence without saying anything you can tell a lot okay so the process will be i will start out with a story then anybody from the audience can not raise a hand but you have to go to the reactions icon at the bottom of your screen there's a reactions icon item and you can hit the raise hand button our friend archana will keep track and whose hand comes up first will get the chance to tell the story first and then after you tell the story we'll get a feedback from everybody say how could the story have improved and has it served its purpose you could retell your story we'll have two three people tell a story and then retell the story so this is the objective that's why we have put it in hindi suniye kahiye in english hear and tell this is our objective of this uh, okay there are some people who are not able to access i'm just uh, giving them the information okay so yeah that this can't i have come kanta my friend from bangalore is here i'm waiting for dr shubangi she is also likely to join okay so this is what we are going to learn learn to tell stories that's what our objective is any story any story will have five important elements you have to remember that and if those five important elements are there your story is a successful story it should first be received r or all five have r so it should be received worthy of receiving your story should be worth listening to receive having received the story you should be able to reflect on the story wow good story nice so this aspect touched me a lot this is what i liked about the story so some aspect of the story or the story itself should be worth reflecting then you should feel like retaining the story not that you heard it today and tomorrow morning you forget 
I say, somebody told me a story, something to be able to retain the story in your memory. Okay, then comes a fourth. You should be able to relate to the story. When you relate to the story, it must touch your emotions. It must create. And if the story is worth it, it should create a lump in your throat. At least when nobody is looking, you should feel like wiping your eyes if it's a sad story. Or if you're alone, you should feel like chuckling in the middle of the night when you listen to the story. Or on some silent, quiet afternoon, just remember the story and smile to yourself. Any of these things worth, you are able to relate to the story. And then comes the fifth and the most important part. You should feel like retelling the story. Yeah, please unmute. Uh, please, uh, that's right. Yeah. You should feel like re retelling the story. So five hours are important. And that's all. Anybody willing to learn and uh, how to tell a story, you can, you're welcome. And we'll take you through the art of storytelling. Okay. I'm going to start a story today, this morning. I was planning how to start and then I have a good friend and he sent me the story. He said, perhaps this will be useful to you. And yes, and that's the story I'm going to tell you. There was a person, a person in his 30s, maybe 30, 35 years old, Prasad. The fellow went missing after he went out for some partying and he went missing. The family didn't really bother and he didn't come back. You know, missing in the sense he went out for a midnight party and didn't return the next one. <laughs> his family didn't bother because it was his nature. He used to go out and go out and stay outside for three days at a time, four days at a time. Some kind of a contractual labor, let's say, you know, goes away for four days, five days. That was his type. When he didn't return for seven days, his mother got worried. Said it's okay for him to stay outside for three, four days, but weekend he always comes home. So when he did come home for the weekend, the mother was worried and she told the father, let's start looking. They asked around and nobody could say where he was. Finally, with great difficulty, they went to the police station and filed a missing persons complaint. The police investigated. And these days, of course, your call logs are available. And CCTVs are available at the most unlikely places. So looking at all this, they found that, they, they found that Prasad was last seen with another employee, another contract laborer by name Shakil. So Pushta Shuruhi, they started inquiry and uh, satisfactory answers were not available. And Shakil was hauled up inquired, arrested, and finally charged with the murder of Prasad. And he is before the Sessions Court. And Shakil, what do you call, got hold of somebody who was a very good uh, lawyer, criminal lawyer, who, who was a master of getting all these criminals out. The master of all this. He loved making the judicial system laugh at itself or something like that. And so Bhatti was a lawyer and then the Sessions Court was hearing. And then uh, thing, uh, various witnesses were examined. But the moot point was the body was not found. That was the problem. So till the body is found, they couldn't say with certainty that this fellow has killed or how that fellow has killed and things like that. And uh, there was an element of doubt always. So Bhatti said, your honor, or my lord, whatever. He said, my client is innocent. He has to be acquitted for the following reason. Because in another five minutes, the person, the supposedly deceased person, Prasad, is going to walk in through this door. Everybody is in his uncle, including the judge. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, he didn't walk in. 
The judge said, I'm going to hold you in contempt. Are you making fun of me? Our Bhatti said, Your Honor, you cannot convict a person as long as there is doubt in your mind. So there is a doubt that this, you all expected that person to walk in. There's a doubt in your mind. So obviously, my client cannot be convicted. The judge said, oh, Master Stroke, Mr. Bhatti, recess, we meet at 3 o'clock. So they went for lunch and came back at 3 o'clock. And he says, I will pronounce the judgment at 3 o'clock. At 3 o'clock, the sessions judge reads through the whole thing and says, I pronounce the accused Shakil guilty and sentence him to life imprisonment. And this man, Bhatti started he said, sir, no, didn't you observe? Everybody was sent down. He said, yes, I did observe, including me. We were looking at the doorway. But I observed one more thing. When everybody was looking at the doorway, the accused Mr. Shakil was looking down at his hands. Clearly indicating that he had no way that the accused that uh, deceased is going to walk. So the story is to indicate eyes reveal a lot of things. Use your eyes to express. Whether you express it or not, eyes will express it for you. As a storyteller. Learn to use eyes well. Like storytelling, I tell people, look into each other's eyes when you tell a story. Don't look away and tell a story. Look into the eyes of the other. Try. Everyone in the audience should feel that you are speaking to that person alone. That should be the power of your storytelling. One more thing. The storyteller should believe in his own story. Okay? If you don't believe in your own story, nobody will believe your story. So for telling you how believing in your own story is important, I add one more story to you. And then I'll throw the floor open. You can put up your hands and start telling stories. Okay? That's the fun part of it. Okay? There was a person, a bachelor living alone, slightly old man. And in the village where he was living, the boys outside, all the urchins there, boys, girls outside, all young, they were making so much noise that it was impossible for him to sleep in the afternoon. His afternoon siesta was going for a toss. He could never sleep in the afternoon. So one day what he said, he came to that, his window, first floor window. He said, hey, bachelo, come, come, come. Children, hi, hi, doctor. So he said, come, 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 children, come here. So all the children said, Uncle, Uncle, kya hai? what is the matter? He said, you know something? At the end of the village, they are giving you watermelons for free. All the children said, are you watermelon for free? That too in this heat, every child ran towards the water. And the place was absolutely free. He was so relieved. When the children started running, the mothers got worried. The mother said, where are you running? So one child said, Mama, Mama, they are giving watermelons for free. So the mother started running. When the mother started running, the father said, Kaya, father, the, the father can, is not upset that the why, child ran away. He is upset that the wife ran away. So he said, where are the wives running? He said, where are these ladies running? So one of the ladies said, Are you don't know, in the village... Uh, Outside the village, they are distributing watermelons for free. So, father started. Then the old people also started. that. Finally, there was one fellow who was, you know, bedridden. He couldn't get up and he was counting his last few days. That fellow started also da -da 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 running to the village. Now, this man who told the bluff that the watermelons were available outside, 
he wondered and asked that fellow, Are, where are you going? He said, sir, you don't know? They are giving watermelons for free. You know, listening to that, the storyteller came down and he started running for the water. The fellow who bluffed believed that watermelons were away. That should be the conviction in your stories. If you are able to still tell the story with that much conviction, I'll tell you what, people will love your stories and will retell your stories. Yeah. So I've got a number of stories. But I'll tell it to them in pieces, no different stories at different points of time. I started with two stories. Now, who is who would like to tell a story? Yeah, Suresh Nanda from Delhi. Okay, stories can be which you have read, which you have heard, which you have written yourself. Okay, it can also be personal life stories. Sometimes if you want the characters changed, you know, instead of I, you can give a name to the character. Because when you tell personal stories, something happens. Something happens to you, which we shall cover towards the end of the session. Over to Suresh Nanda for his story. Suresh Nanda, when you are telling a story, there are certain things you should do. You should face the camera like I am facing. It should be pakka center. Okay, face the camera. Come close to the camera so that I can see your facial expressions and especially your eyes if I can. Okay? Unless you have a voice like Amitabh Bachchan or Raj Kumar and say Jani or something like that. Okay. So over to Suresh Nanda, your story. We'll listen to your story. You are, you are please unmute. Yes, next Mr. Solanki, Dharmendra Solanki will tell the next story. I'm adding a little more to Suresh. Uh, yes, please. The lamp should be shining on his face. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. The lamp should be on your face. The third storyteller will be Nandini from Chennai. So there are three storytellers. Good evening, Shubhangi ji. Very nice meeting you. Very nice meeting you. Thank you. You could join our show. I know you're very busy from 9 to 5. So 6 o'clock we are looking forward. Right? Okay. So we start with Suresh and then we'll go to Dharmendra Solanki and then we'll go to Nandini. Right. Over to you, Suresh. So this means unmute. Aapki awaz sunai de re. Or I'll have to sing for you. Awaz de kaha hai. Dunia meri jawa nahi hai, but phir bhi. हाँ है भाई सुरेश हाँ आवाज दे भाई अनम्यूट करो आप सुरेश नंदा on the left bottom of your screen there is a mic button उसके बगल में जाएंगे तो the arrow will be upward click on it the mute button will be removed or we'll do one thing सुरेश till you master the technique I will go to धर्मेंद्र सोलंकी जी he can start his story या धर्मेंद्र जी over to you Suresh is unmuted now. Okay, Suresh then start. Suresh. Sunai neither, Suresh. Either you have put some jack into your system. Okay, Dharmendra Solanki. Okay, I take over, sir? Yes, you take over, yes. The story uh, can be told in Hindi or English, no problem. No problem, but for the sir, benefit sir. of people who do not understand Hindi, you may have to translate it. मैं दोनों को mix करके बोलूँगा तो लोगों को समझ में आ जाएगी कि normally stories जो है वो हमारी बोलते हैं ज्ञान गंगा जैसा काम करती है तो मैं चाहता हूँ कि ये जो ज्ञान गंगा मैं सब लोग को बांटता हूँ आप लोग को भी share करूँ क्योंकि मैं जब भी कोई management program करता हूँ खास करके communication के ऊपर में तो मैं हमेशा ये कहता हूँ लोगों को कि communication जो information sharing अगर timely नहीं होता है so it is a dead information and information कभी भी dead नहीं होनी चाहिए जैसा कि मैं हमेशा एक story कहता हूँ लोगों के अंदर में कि there was a man in the village who was sharing the caps and गांव गांव जाके वो बंदा अपनी टोपी जो बोलते हैं पहनने की वो सेल कर रहा होता है और एक दिन क्या होता है कि जब वो दूसरे गांव जाते जाते रास्ते में थक जाता है तो वो देखता है कि थोड़ा एक बड़ा झाड़ होता है बरगद का 
देर वॉज ए बनी एंट्री एंड ही थिंग्स दैट मैं करीबन आधा घंटा के लिए सो जाता हूं मैं तो थोड़ा आराम हो जाएगा मुझे और मुझे एनर्जी आ जाएगी तो वो ऐसा करके वो सो जाता है पेड़ के नीचे आराम से ठंडी हवा चल रही होती है और वो जब सो जाता है तो देखता है कि ऊपर में कुछ बंदर होते हैं झाड़ के ऊपर में लॉट ऑफ मंकीज ऑन द ट्री और जब मंकीज ऑन द ट्री वो क्या करते हैं वो एक के बाद एक के बाद नीचे उतरते हैं और ये जो कैप वाला है द ओनर ऑफ द टोपी दैट फेलो इज स्लिपिंग और एक बंदर जो है उसकी सारी की सारी टोपिया जो है वो अपने सर के ऊपर डाल के ऊपर नाचने लगते हैं दे क्लाइंब द ट्री एंड अगेन वेनिश ऑन द ट्री तो क्या होता है कि जो बंदर है ये सारे के सारे टोपी लेके चले गए ऊपर में लिविंग ओनली वन कैप अवेलेबल विद द टोपी वाला जो सो रहा था जब वो जागता है तो ही इज टेकन फॉर ए वेरी बिग सरप्राइज कि अरे मेरी सारी टोपियां तो कहाँ है ऊपर देखता है तो सारे बंदर अपनी अपनी टोपी पहन के नाच रहे हैं मस्ती कर रहे हैं इस सेट के मैं करूं क्या अभी Then suddenly he realized and remembered कि मेरे पापा मुझे एक स्टोरी कहते थे कि जब कोई ऐसा बंदर आपका टोपी लेके जाता है तो आपको क्या करना चाहिए ही रिमेंबर दैट स्टोरी विच वॉज टोल्ड टू हिम बाई हिज फादर एंड ही इमीडिएटली रिकलेक्टेड कि मुझे अपनी टोपी उतार के मैं उसको हाथ में हिलाऊंगा पहले और जमीन पे जोर से फेंकूंगा राइट mm-hmm. right? तो उसने ऐसा ही किया जैसा उसके दादा ने कहा था उसके पापा ने उसको कहा था वैसा उसने अपनी टोपी निकाली बंदर के सामने जोर जोर से हिलाई और धबाक से जमीन पर फेंक दिया वेन ही थ्रू द कैप ऑन द ग्राउंड ही इज जस्ट वॉचिंग दैट मंकीज आर स्टील वेविंग एंड अगेन वियरिंग द कैप ही वॉज टेकन फॉर ए सरप्राइज कि यार ये तो पूरी ज्ञान गंगा की पड़ी हुई मेरी कहानी है मेरे पापा ने मुझे शेयर की थी मेरे दादा ने मुझसे शेयर की थी कि ऐसा होता है हाउ द स्टोरी कैन टर्न रॉन्ग आई आई डो नॉट नो हाउ द स्टोरी कैन टर्न टर्न रॉन्ग सो एक बार वो फिर से डालता है टोपी पहन लेता है फिर से हिलाता है फिर से जमीन पे फेंकता है बंदर लोग उसको देखते हैं फिर से हिलाते हैं बट फिर से अपनी टोपी पहन के फिर नाचने लगते हैं बंदर लोग तो ही वॉज लुकिंग एट द मंकीज एंड ही फाउंड दैट देर वॉज अ वन सीनियर लीडर टाइप का बंदर था जो चुपचाप बैठा रहता था टोपी पहन के वो भी बैठा था तो ही सेड रिक्वेस्टेड दैट सीनियर पर्सन दैट प्लीज कम डाउन आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक टू विथ यू पर्सन केम डाउन स्लोली एंड ही सेड यस बोलो क्या बात है तो बोले यार मैंने मेरे बचपन में कहानी सुनी थी लोगों से सुनी है कि बंदर लोग जो होते हैं मेरे दादा ने मुझे कहानी कहा कही थी कि बंदर लोग जो होते हैं वो आपकी नकल करते हैं नकलची बंदर होते हैं तो आप जब भी ऐसा कोई बंदर आपकी टोपी लेके चला जाता है तो ये आप अपनी टोपी वेव करके जमीन के ऊपर फेंकिए तो बंदर विल रेप्लीकेट यू और आपको आपकी टोपी मिल जाएगी तो ये कहानी कैसे गलत हो गई साहब आप तो मुझे लगता है इतने बड़े सीनियर है पूरे ग्रुप के लीडर तो मुझे आप ही लगते हैं आप ही बताइए या इनको गाइड करिए कि भाई ऐसा क्यों ऐसा हो रहा है तो बोले के बेटे जैसे तेरे बाबा जी ने तेरे को कहानी बताई वैसे मेरे हमारे बाबा जी ने हमको भी कहानी बताई थी कि अगर इंसान अगर अपनी टोपी फेंके तो तुम लोग मत फेंकना तो भाइयों और बहनों अल्टीमेटली ये कहने का मतलब ये था कि कम्युनिकेशन अगर हम लोग करते हैं वैसा कम्युनिकेशन सब जगह होता है कम्युनिकेशन टाइमली टू द राइट पर्पज फॉर राइट स्पिरिट होना जरूरी है अदरवाइज कहीं ना कहीं कोई गलती हो सकती है थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर पेशेंस लिसनिंग दिस इज धर्मेंद्र सोलंकी टेकिंग ऑफ फ्रॉम यू थैंक यू सर एक्सलेंट एक्सलेंट दिस स्टोरी ऑल्सो स्लाइट वेरिएशन Yes, sir. Among the monkeys, there was one baby monkey which did not get a cap. Okay. So that baby was crying. Hmm. So his mother, grandmother monkey said, "Don't worry. That fellow will take his cap and throw it to the ground. You must take it." You have taken story to the third level now. <laughs> so, excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you for your attention. We are we are descendant from monkeys, but monkeys don't like it. They are a lot more intelligent than we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent, wonderful, very nice, excellent, as Olanki ji. We can thank use you, you. or you can use these stories in a training. Particularly, don't follow old techniques without uh, uh, what do you call updating to latest re- requirements and things like that. Wonderful, great. Okay, now. Okay. Before we start giving feedback to the storytellers, I will invite uh, Miss Nandini. She is a storyteller trainer from Chennai. She does a lot of training, and I would like her to. Good evening, all of you. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. I yeah. thought Mr. Suresh Nanda will be uh, asked to tell us. Okay. After you, Suresh. Yes. Uh, okay. Fine. Okay. So uh, today's story. Um, 
today's story is about a small girl. In a village, <clears throat> there is a mountain. There is a mountain. On top of the mountain, there is a temple. So to reach the temple, we have to climb some steps and reach the temple. So every morning, a puja is happening there in the temple. Every day, there is a small girl, a kindergarten girl. She goes to the temple every day without fail. She goes in front of the deity and she starts praying. She says some sloka. She goes on like that for 5-10 minutes. And then she goes back home. Now this Pujari in the temple, he's like watching her with lots of admiration. He's wondering what uh, slokam this girl is telling. So one fine day, he said, Papa, come here. And this girl went and said, yeah, tell me. He said, every day I see you coming to the temple and praying. Very sincerely you're praying and really nice. Can you teach me that slokam? He's asking. This girl like confused. What slokam? I did not tell any slokam and all. I don't know any slokam. Then what are you telling every day? What are you praying every day? Uh, Pujari asked. This girl said, no, no, no. I, all I know is alphabets. So from A to Z, I will tell daily, three times. Now the Pujari was uh, confused, astonished, a lot of mixed emotions. He didn't understand why this girl was reciting A to Z every day, three times. I'm going to stop the story here. I'm a trainer, so I always ask. Why do you think, <laughs> why do you think uh, what, what would have been her answer, this little girl's answer? No, whatever, she needs to, whatever she needs to say comes in the alphabets. Yes. Okay. Any other answers? It sets you thinking here. Yeah. Maybe from tomorrow, I will also say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, C. A, B, C, D, ask. No answer. <laughs> She's a kinder. Why do we need to fight with kindergarten children? Oh, yeah, you bet. It was part of her learning to... God wants only innocency. How innocently you are praying to him. Yeah, okay. okay. Every answer is right. There's no wrong answer in uh, anything. Okay. How we perceive it is what is important. Yes, ma'am. Sudha, ma'am, you were telling something? Yeah, it was part of learning on her behalf. Okay, part of learning. Okay, any other answer? She must have been taught that uh, whatever is there in her mind, the God will understand. Are you? That's true. Yeah, actually, all are right. Right. She is expressing her prayers in a way she knows, and she's confident that whoever is listening can make up. She told, see, whatever, oh. whatever word I want to say is there in the alphabets. It doesn't <laughs> go beyond the alphabets. So whatever I know, I, I know alphabets, I will tell alphabets. God knows what I want. He will give, he will listen whatever he needs to listen and he will give me. Okay, okay good. <laughs> so, he, will, he will write down the spelling himself. Yeah, he can script it out what, however he wants. <laughs> okay. So this has nothing to do with piety and all, but the confidence uh, you put in yourself. Uh, as Mr. Dharmendra brought in communication and Mr. Mohan's uh, crux of today's meeting is like communication via stories, I brought in this story because uh, she communicated in a way she understood, she knows and she, uh, she is confident that it will be perceived correctly also. So mm. that's the base of any communicate, one communicate any communication. Yeah. Well, I'm from the, uh, excuse me, sir. Yes, Pradeepji. Yeah. Marwadi community and we have huh. a very famous uh, Marwadi Katha. Uh -huh. you know, so one guy got uh, wanted to get married. So in his marriage, he said that I will take only and only young people. No old oh. people allowed. So what this guy says that Bina old Admi ke tumara kaam hone wala nahi hai. Okay. Purane Admi to jaruri jaruri hai. Thik hai? To wo kya karta hai ki apna ek budhe uh, chacha ko bori ke andar chupa ke le jata hai. Okay. So, demand hoti hai ki mere ko, uh, thik hai, lekin, jo ye nadi bari is me tu bena chai. Oh. So, I may young lo hota hai, inka to dimagi ni chalta hai. So, Bharat वापिस जाने लगती है। 
तो जब बारात वापिस जाने लगती है तो वो बूढ़ा जो रहता है वो बोलता है अब तो खोल दो अब तो बारात वैसे भी जा रही है तो अब पता क्या चलेगा मैं आया कि नहीं आया क्या फर्क पड़ता है तब वो खोलते हैं उसको तो वो बाहर आके बोलता है चलो आपको दूध की नदी दे देंगे हम लोग तो सब लोग अचरज करते हैं अरे चाचा क्या बोल रहे हो तुम दूध की नदी कहाँ से बहाओगे तुम तो बोलो नहीं दूध की नदी दे देंगे लेकिन जो पहले पानी बह रहा है उसको खाली करवाओ मारवाड़ी बारात प्रोसेशन इज गोइंग टू गेट मैरिड सो द Young guy who is getting married, he says, "Not even a single old man will go with me. I will only go with young people." So, in spite of his saying so, one of his relatives take the old chacha in the uh, hidden uh, uh, gunny bag, so he will not know. So they went to the place, and the girl side said that you first make. a river full of milk then only will get married so now these people are all getting worried that how can milk come into the river so they are all going back so that chacha says now as it is that we are going back you kindly open me so they opened him and then he said we will give the river full of milk no worry so everybody says how can you give a river full of milk so what he says according to his experience that okay we will give the milk but first you get the water emptied from the running river <laughs> get the, get the water out of the river i'll give you milk yes uh, <laughs> see Now there was a, there was an interview in which a fellow said i am an mba so that where did you get mba he said what mba i didn't get it i got it from my community he said what community he said mba means marwadi business acumen <laughs> so this must be that mba <laughs> so a uh, very smart thinking it is very funny. see you would have heard that there are a lot of such people birbal akbar stories tenali rama stories in which you know people have come up with very wise solutions which we will explore as we go on very good thank you pradeep modi ji wonderful uh now yeah mba right mba is marwadi business acumen but sometimes uh, i don't want to use it we'll use it later there are so many mbas i don't want to affect okay next storyteller are you ready suresh nanda ji suresh nanda yes suresh please come on the camera because when you're telling the story i would like to listen i'm see you Yes, Suresh. I'm not able to hear you, Suresh. Some problem. Okay. One more thing. As we are till here, huh? please try. Sunai, ne there, Suresh. Check. There is a technical problem at your end. Okay. Then you are telling a story. You could tell it with absolutely dead pan face, no change in expressions. that's also possible you could also tell the story with a lot of expression laugh at your own jokes both are perfectly valid like for instance our pradeep modi ji when he was telling the story he was laughing along with us that's an art there are some people who can say dead pan and still still stories and make others laugh there used to be one uh, uh, then there's one kavi hasya kavi sammelan in which there are some people who will have absolutely straight face and tell you crack jokes they won't be laughing but people will like, be laughing like surendra sharma <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly there used to be one shail chaturvedi amazing <laughs> he used to tell amazing stories and yeah so the suresh are you ready suresh nanda you are ready but unmute kijiye unmute kijiye if you are unmuting okay remain off camera but if you can unmute and tell me the story Nice, Suresh. I'm not able to hear you at all. Nobody is able to hear you. 
अब अपना टेक्निकल सॉर्ट आउट कर लीजिए एनी बडी एल्स वुड लाइक टू टेल अस्ट नॉइस इज कमिंग सुरेश ओके विल विल आप अपना टेक्निकल सॉर्ट कर लीजिए नाउ या लैक्स कैन टेल अ स्टोरी गो आई लक्ष्मी नारायण इज फ्रॉम बैंगलोर यस हाय गुड इवनिंग एक्चुअली आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टेल अ स्टोरी बट एज यू राइटली सेड राइट इन द बिगिनिंग सम एक्सपीरियंस ओके सो दिस इज मोर एन एक्सपीरियंस शेयरिंग इन द कॉर्पोरेट वर्ल्ड में हम लोग इंटरव्यू किया करते थे लोगों को so in this process of interview there would be a normally a panel of two three people who were you know so the first time people who are going to do the interview are a little uh, you know if we in their approach they are not sure what to do whether i should impress my boss who is sitting alongside me with my technical knowledge or i should look at the candidate so there is a bit of confusion so what uh, in a, normally it starts with tell him tell me something about yourself is the first thing that probably is told to a prospective candidate so this candidate looks at the environment how come he is probably he is equally nervous and not very comfortable so then that interview is going to be a very ordinary kind of a stuff now if your objective is to build your organization recruit more people so you would normally make the person comfortable and if you ask the same question hi good evening why don't you tell me about yourself a little bit so the moment you change our own body language the responses come out completely differently because the candidate feels comfortable he or she starts telling the things and we are able to it's not that you know we want to show our one upmanship to that candidate you are already in the position of power why are you worried about impressing to so just get the best out of the candidate make him or her comfortable and i have seen a lot of success in making the candidates comfortable and they joining the organization and help build the organization so it's again a matter of communication you can with a straight face you can ask tell me about yourself that means you are not ax interested to listen to what the individual is telling stephen mm -hmm. covey has the i mean we have gone with the book the art of listening so we have to listen to what the person says and we have to allow him to express mm -hmm. this is exactly what my experience has been in the corporate world even in the other chota mota we talk about uh, some experiences something happened there some comical situation something that happened in the train we would like to dramatize it a little bit and uh, add some masala and say you know this is all part of our uh, marketing gimmick also sometimes but this is the way of various kinds of communication i think uh, mohan covered a little bit uh, with respect to your eyes uh, your expressions how you talk how you can make the other party comfortable the whole objective is to grow your organization and what would you do to make the candidate comfortable that's it thanks. thank you lex thank you very much thank you very much on this we will listen to pradeep modi ji again yeah yes sir uh, just uh, appreciating the uh, session that many of uh, our senior people you know at this age uh, they become very lonely Um, and they have nobody to talk to so this is a very very good platform and uh, you know people will learn to talk and at least you know vent their feelings even if you talk for 2 minutes your whole day goes very very nicely so very kudos to you sir thank you so thank much you, thank you very in fact i have also made it uh, very particular that uh, young storytellers should join nandini is a young storyteller there are few more people in the Uh, panel. Okay, somebody had to go away. There is a sir, I am five years young, sir. <laughs> oh yeah, hey, that's lovely. <laughs> that's lovely. And uh, I'm uh, also getting a. There would have you would have seen a background. M A S T. M A S T is the Madras Association of Storytellers, and of which I am one of the curators. And we have about seven or eight people there. From there, every week we will have a storyteller. 
who will tell you stories. So we'll have two or three people story telling stories to all of you. And ultimately the purpose is, uh, remember the five R's, receive, reflect, retain, relay, and retell, okay? So I'm going to share with you one more story. And this story moves into a slightly serious domain. We should, we are okay telling light-hearted stories, but can you tell serious stories? And then in due course, in the coming weeks, I'm also going to talk about what is called taboo stories. Can a person who is a gay come and tell a story? Can somebody who says, I'm a bisexual, can we have the openness to listen to that story? So we are going to have that. In the sense, you know, storytelling, but oh, everything is fine. And one more thing, storytelling doesn't mean, animal stories mean making noise like animals. Okay, five hours, full form again. Receive the story. Okay. Reflect on the story. Retain the story. Relate to the story. And retell the story. Five hours of story. Okay. This story is again a real life story. This person is a storyteller. We did a storytelling course together. Uh, much younger to me, of course. We did a storytelling course together. And uh, it was a, let's say say about five. It was about five weeks course every day. Weekend, two, two weeks and went to. We paid quite an amount of money for that. And at the end of the fifth session, uh, this, for reasons of propriety, I'm not going to use the person's name. Person told me, can I talk to you? I said, yes. So that day, straight after the storytelling, we went for lunch. It went beyond the evening tea and uh, we sat for a very long time. The person had a very sad story to say. After being married for more than 20 years, and being in the mid 40s. Uh, one fine morning, the husband uh, tells her, I don't like you anymore. I'm not able to live with you anymore. So I'm going to sue for divorce. She says, I mean, she was shocked. She said she had given up a career. She was working, and when she when the job, job or when the marriage, uh, Offer came, she and those people said, No, no, we don't want working women in our family. Our family, my ladies now work. We make so much money that we don't need ladies to work. She gave up her career, and 20 years after giving up her career, the person says, I'm sorry, I don't like you anymore. She's shocked. And uh, that was the day she said, I've been going through the storytelling course. Because one at the, on that day, the last day was our performance day. We were telling stories. And uh, when you tell a sad, sad story, you're not supposed to collapse in sadness. The sadness must be conveyed without the storyteller becoming sad. The voice can give emotions. You can perhaps wipe an imaginary tear or two, but you're not supposed to break down. So she told me the story. And while she was telling the story, she broke down. Therefore, we met him. There was something... I told her and it has, yeah, that's right. Receive, reflect, retain, relate, relate, relate and retell or repeat. So, and uh, so then the person told, I gave her an idea. So that's how I started becoming a better storyteller. I said, why don't you do something? Okay. This is exactly what I told her. I tell you also. I said, buy a good quality notebook. Say, I'm not marketing all this. Buy a good quality notebook. Buy a good quality pen. Buy two, three color inks. Okay. Purple, green. And I don't use a royal blue and black. Purple, green, brown. There is a color called brilliant brown. Okay. Then pick up and start writing your story. Script your story. Write your story. I am so and so. I was born in this place. You can start like that. Or you can say, one fine morning, my husband tells me I don't like you anymore. 
go into a flashback, write your story. Put and then don't let anybody read it, okay? And if you don't want to write your name, put X, Y, Z, but don't put X, Y, Z, give names. Gives name, gives places, so that when you, if the story is about Calcutta, no, I was born in Kolkata, so I can't but referent to Kolkata. When you write a story about Kolkata, I must smell Shingada made, in Shingada is, you know, your samosas, made in, uh, shorso tail, <laughs> mustard oil. Luchi is, you know, maida ki puri, made in mustard oil. Alu bhaja, kochu bhaja, you must, you must have those fragrances, aroma hitting you. If I'm going to talk to you about a place called Tiljala, the uh, leather factory smell should hit you. If I'm talking to you about Dharavi slum, the Dharavi slum's reality should hit you. That should be the art of, I said, write it down. Okay. And then I lost touch with her after that. Must have happened 15 or 16. Lost touch with her after that. I met her sometime in 2000. 21 after five full years. Oh my God, I couldn't believe it. She was a glowing, you know, with happiness. And she says, I'm telling stories under this brand name. I said, I thought so. He said, no, no, you never tried to contact me. I said, no, I didn't want to contact you. She has become a professional storyteller traveling all over the world, telling stories and writing stories. That one art of scripting your story change their life. So this is something which I want people to try. Yes, uh, Pradeep Modi said it's the art of venting out. Yes. If there are people willing to listen, vent out. But if people are not willing to listen, forget it. But keep the story to yourself. Or distribute nekar nekar. Keep it. No. Buy good quality notebook. Not writing in notebook bags and newspaper corners. Che quality notebook. I write only with fountain pens. Good quality fountain pens. And with different colorings. This is a way of scripting your story. You can in your mind have a color code. Happy moments, I will record in this color. Sad moments, I will record in this color. Strength moments, I will record in this color. Later on, you don't even have to read the story. Just go through the notebook, see the color changes you will find color changing from sad to happy. By just looking at you will find the color change happen. It can cause an amazing transformation to yourself. My friend did it. I did it at various points of time in my life. Way back about 10 years ago, I made a horrendous decision and it was stupid, a stupid decision. I lost a lot of money. Lost a lot of money, lost something very steady, but then I wrote it down. And now when I read the story, it is fun. Zindagi ki sachai, zindagi ko humne bahut kareeb se dekha hai. I've seen life from close quarters. Especially if you've gone through illnesses, you've gone through separations, if your relationships have hit you, you're being cheated, stabbed in the back, hurt, including... This is something very important which adult storytellers should understand. Adults should understand. If somebody says, I am gay, if somebody says, I am a bisexual, please understand the person is not a weird person. That is also okay in Srishti. In Srishti, it is possible to have that person. We need not sit on judgment on the person. We can let the person be. If you can listen to the story, if you can contribute and make the story person's life better, otherwise there's a very good thing. Chupra hai na, main chupra hongi. Yeah, so Dharmendra Solanki ji had put up his hand. Aapko kuch, you know? Yeah, please sir. Uh, sir, main ek chiz batana chata hoon ke jo story telling hota hai, ah. jaysa aap bool rahe ke apne anubho bataiye, apne bataiye. Actually, we should have a grip of the audience ke humari audience hai kon actually. Ah, because good. Mm -hmm. अब जैसे कई बार मुझे कई लोग बोल रहे हैं कि सर आप हमको एक स्क्रिप्ट लिख दीजिए मुझे मुझे सक्सेस के ऊपर बोलना है कई लोग बोलते हैं मुझे कॉन्फिडेंस के ऊपर बोलना है सो सिंस आई टीच मैनेजमेंट टू द सीनियर ऑफिसर्स तो दे टेल के सर तो कई बार क्या होता है कि टीचर्स जो होती हैं वो कई बार पूछते हैं मुझे कि सर हमको थोड़ा लिख के दे दीजिए या हमको गाइड करिए उसका तो आई टेल देम दैट आप अपने एग्जांपल लीजिए 
अब वो सेकंड सेकंड स्टैंडर्ड थर्ड स्टैंडर्ड वाले को बिल गेट्स ने इतना इनोवेशन किया वो बताने की जरूरत नहीं है उसको ऐसी स्टोरी बताइए उनको ऐसे एग्जांपल दीजिए जैसे अपने जैसे राष्ट्रपति हमको किसी को अवार्ड दिया है कि भाई इस बच्चे ने ये किया गांव में या किसी ने क्या किया आई सेट देर आर लॉट ऑफ स्टोरी देर आर लॉट ऑफ स्टोरी फ्लोटिंग अराउंड अस वी आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट इट अचीवमेंट और सक्सेस तो उसके हिसाब से होता है जैसे वेन यू आर टॉकिंग टू वर्कर्स आई गो एन गिव एक्चर्स टू द वर्कर्स तो उसको उसके हिसाब से समझने वाली बातें समझानी पड़ेगी इसीलिए हम कहते हैं धर्मेंद्र जी रिलेट लाइक लाइक द स्टोरी टेलर मिस नंदनी सेट टूडे डोंट गिव कंक्लूशन ऑल द टाइम एट वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आस्क अ क्वेश्चन वॉट शुड बी द कंक्लूशन she triggers your thinking and then she gives a conclusion so that's an and then when you are imagine on this platform there are about 16 17 people here and through the seniors today this is being recorded and it is released on youtube it is being live streamed who knows we may have a million audience in due course that's why we are working towards making the program qualitatively something and this story is not just going to be only moral stories and things like that there are stories relating to bhakti there are some stories relating to certain experiences of devotees one person says i have seen hanuman face to face one person says i went to kailash and i have seen shiv tandav are you going to dismiss it so this is a platform where people our friend here mr kg yageraman here he is from bangalore he is an amazing storyteller when it comes to certain uh, vaishnava philosophy and things like that i am going to ask him to share stories in due course he can tell amazing stories and when i listen to him tell stories in tamil and spell bound so i would like him to tell stories in tamil which we will translate for so the art the art of expressing your stories it me i today i brought out the scripting because it's a very valuable thing to do if you have a problem pradeep modi is that i am uh, what do you call uh, uh, venting it out so it is good to write it it gives a lot of okay so we are coming to the end of the program i would like to tell you one more story there was a boy a young boy uh who once came at midnight to a medical shop and said do you have miracles available here the shopkeeper was slowly putting down the shutters he said yeah, midnight to come and ask me for miracles what rubbish he says no no then just then when he was talking you know another gentleman came down he came down in a plush limousine maybe a mercedes or something got down and he wrote out and he wanted some medicine so again this boy said do you have miracles then this elderly gentleman asked him why do you need miracles beta so he said my mother and father we live in a hut nearby and my parents are i heard them talking my mother was very sad and my father said only a miracle can save our sister our sister is having i don't know what they are saying that only a miracle can save the sister So I was wanting to find out from the shop if miracle is available. So the other man said, "Okay, is it so? Let me come to your house." So they went to the boy's house and they found that the child was suffering from a severe heart condition, and if not treated, the child had just then less than three to four weeks to live. This doctor, this person, accomplished-looking person, and a very erudite, scholarly-looking person. turned out to be a very very senior cardio surgeon cardiac surgeon specializing in pediatric surgery so is it really and then he came back and while coming back to his car he said how much you said uh, you wanted to buy miracles how much money do you have this boy put his money hand into his pocket and took out 425 paise coins and he says this is what i have the doctor looked at the whole thing from that he took 325 paise coins he said you have much more than what is needed and put the money into his pocket and went home 
Next morning, an ambulance arrives. The child is taken to the, his own hospital. The child is treated. And eight months later, the sprightly young girl is playing on the beaches. So everybody asks the parents, such an expensive surgery. Who did it for you? How did you manage the money? This young boy smiled to himself. He says, I know how much it costs. Sir Bara Ana. For 12 annas, <coughs> my sister was cured by a miracle. This is a real life story. Only the doctor's name and things like that are changed here and there. We have life impacting stories. And all these stories, <coughs> you are going to use voice, you want to use your eyes, you want to use your shoulder, your heads, your hands. And over the next few weeks, one of the things we'll do is, once you're regular, our friend here, the organizer here, Ms. Archana, she'll form a WhatsApp group of all the people who are regular in the storytelling, so that you will not have confusion about, you know, links and things like that. The links will come to that WhatsApp group. You will log in every Monday. You will not only learn the art of storytelling, use the art of storytelling to learn an element of acting. In the morning we have dancing in which there is an element of acting. We had this morning. We had this acting. So in the evening you do a different kind of uh, different kind of acting where you don't have to do so much of physical acting but you can act with your voice. We'll go through the art of voice modulation. We'll go through the art of using your eyes, your hands. This command center here, you know, how to use your eyes, and your smile and inclination of your head, touching your chin, touching your cheek. So many things you will do. This is the purpose of this uh, storytelling. Please tell your friends, bring in more people. It is for seniors, of course. But I would like a lot of youngsters to participate for the simple reason India is in very good hands. You know why? More than 60% of the population of India is under 35 years of age. Phenomenally young population. But remember, another 30 years of down the line. 65% of the percent of the population will be 60 plus. So it's also a growing population. And the very accomplished population, youngsters, they're going to rule the world. India is going to rule the world by wisdom, by storytelling. The world needs more storytellers today than economic, uh, what do you call, uh, revolution and military leaders and others. We need more storytellers. People who can convey genuine feelings and feelings from the heart to people. So, uh, please leave your, uh, go to the chat box and put in your phone numbers so that we will copy it down. It will be, be copied down and Ms. Archana will get in touch with you. We'll form a WhatsApp group. And in the WhatsApp group, I'll announce the next week's. Slowly, you will have tasks to do. Like, for instance, you will tell a story and make other story. You will conduct the storytelling session kind of. We hope to run this in a, in a long term. Oh, we have a Two we minutes. A small, uh, yeah, please. Story. Yes. The story ah. is generally confused with a humorous story and therefore devolves around a joke. Okay. The story is not a joke. Hmm. The joke is related for the nonce. It's merely for making people laugh. Mm -hmm. But the story is to make people think. Wonderful. We should carry a message. It need not always be pathetic or funny, but mm -hmm. it should carry a message. It can be a funny story, not a joke. Yeah. The Correct. difference. Everyone can repeat a joke, not many can repeat a story. Because there is so much that the author has thought about. He has got his own little notebook and colored pens in which he starts writing. <laughs> It's not that he shoots the story off the cuff. Yes, yes. He thinks, he writes, and that is what makes for a good story. Yeah. If you, if I might share with you, this is this is possibly my 11th or 12th notebook. 
each has about 400 pages. So I have a lot of notebooks. If there is an asset of mine, if there is a legacy that I am going to live, leave after I cease to live, whoever wants this can claim it from me. I want about 10, 12 notebooks or more. I don't know how many. Plus, of course, smaller notebooks, a lot of them. These are my only big assets, apart from a collection of very good content books. These are my assets. Like uh, Brother Suri Narayan Rao said, it is from the notebook. They are just not off the cuff. They are thought and reflected and retold and makes an impact to each cell of your system. And the storyteller must be genuine. Yes, you can crack jokes, you can tell a funny story, but it is not mere, what do they call it, you know, stand-up comedy. It, it has to be a blend of everything, you know, depending on your audience. So actually, Correct. what is your audience? Otherwise, Correct. sir, like what happens, Ram Katha, I'm saying, you guys are listening to it. Some people are listening to it. Some people are listening to it. Some people are listening to it. It's such a big story. So, unless and until... In fact, in this forum, in the same Seniors Today forum, uh, you, we can please go and look into my old YouTube videos of about a year and a half old. I have told meaningful Ram Katha. Okay. I have told meaningful stories from Mahabharat. Stories from unheard of freedom, uh, freedom fighters. Uh, people just can you know, unheard of women freedom fighters. Uh, we have had wonderful storytelling sessions. We can all repeat. Uh, we can repeat many of them. There are, and I want many storytellers to use this forum. Come. Okay, uh, then this will be our format, more or less this way. And uh, I don't want to have a rigid format. It will be a flexible format so that we can keep changing to meet the listener's need. And ultimately, you should be able to take it to a larger audience. Okay. So with this, I rest for the evening. Anybody wants to give any other feedback, welcome. We have stories from mythology, stories from history, stories of bhakti, freedom fighting. It's no end. Sports, movies, how songs were written. There was a person, a writer, he was in such a bad state that he went to a Shiva temple during Shivaratri time. Somebody gave him prasad. He popped something into his mouth and he had some old notebook in which he wrote a song and kept it away. And then there was a music director who made this into a uh, what do you call a great song? You would have heard of this song. And that person became a well-known and a rich lyricist. He wrote the song. This was the song he wrote. And his name is, anybody? Shailendra. And he became so famous and so rich. And in times of, you know, these are stories you can tell, you know, lovely stories you can tell from the movie industry, from the sports industry. Inspiring. Yeah. Are Sundaresh Nanda's mic has come alive, finally. <laughs> so very good. Thank you very much being here. Yeah. The uh, mic has come back. Why not you give him a chance? Yeah, okay. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Suresh, you can, you can tell your story. Your mic has come back. Yeah, it's a life learning lesson for me. Ah. I was living in house cars in SFS apartments way back in 90s. Mm -hmm. My, I was living in a one room apartment, but the other, the same apartment, there are three BHK, all these things. One apartment was <coughs> a, a B Captain Khan. He has a domestic help name. Jamsed. So Jamsed was very close to me because he was a child. He was working in Captain Khan's house and as well as attending his education, school. So every day at night, after 10 or something, either he switches the balcony light or I used to switch the light. Once Jamse told me, Bhaiya, dekhe, ek bulf jalane ke liye kitni mehnat lagti hai. Lekin, mm -hmm. log ko ye pata nahi hota ki ye bulf sare raat jalate rete bina vajay se. 
So that's a great learning lesson from me, from mm. Jamshed. It has become a life learning lesson for me from Jamshed. A, mm. the, a boy around at that time, he was must be 12 or 13 from a remote village from Bhagalpur in Bihar. So this is a life learning lesson for me. Again, what did the boy say? Uh, can you put it in? Yeah, English? please put it in English now. He said to light a bulb, the electricity conduction to light a bulb is more than the vestiges of the electricity. That is oh. his uh, thought. A bulb jalne ke liye jitna paisa kharch hota hai, वो बल्फ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जितना खर्च होता है उससे ज्यादा ये लोग वेस्ट करते हैं सो रामन इट इज समथिंग लाइक दिस सी यू वुड हैव सीन स्ट्रीट लाइट्स बर्निंग ड्यूरिंग द डे मीन ऑन ड्यूरिंग द डे टाइम सो ही सेज प्लीज डोंट पीपल डोंट सीम टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट टेक्स सो मच ऑफ एफर्ट टू क्रिएट द इलेक्ट्रिक्स बेस द एक्सपेंसेस एंड एनर्जी एंड व्हाट इज बीइंग वेस्टेड इज मच बियॉन्ड दैट दैट्स व्हाट ही सेज यंग बॉय सेज दैट इतना said that why are you wasting so much food so he replied that we have paid the money what is your problem mm -hmm. problem is that you are wasting our resources right. your money is not important to us mm -hmm. wasting our resources isse char aadmi aur kha sakte the kha sakte four people can eat <laughs> so this is what precisely mr nanda is trying exactly. to say in yeah. fact i believe in some european countries you have to if you are wasting you have to pay some wastage charge no they call the yeah. police sir they call the police they have to oh. pay a penalty oh my god so they are there wonderful so this will be the forum where we can all share wonderful stories from all over the world and make our lives richer thank you very much have a wonderful wonderful evening we meet wonderful. again wonderful session we meet thank again you. monday thank you. Thank you, Mohanji. Thank you for conducting excellent program. Thank you. All was very good. Thank you. Thank you, Ramesh. And happy New Year to all. No, happy, happy New Year. Year. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy New Year to all. Thank you. Doctor, Doctor Shubhangi is an ophthalmologist. He is so busy. It's very difficult to get her between nine and five. So I yes. said for her, say, I mean, we will do the program at six. She said, yes, I will join. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. It was a very, very nice session. And thank, thank to God that I could attain. <laughs> oh, so nice, so nice. Bye. Bye. See you all Monday next. Thank you. Refreshing.